I'd like to draw everybody's attention to this story that I couldn't let just go by under the radar. I felt the need to point it out. Uh, this is a woman that gave birth on an airplane. This was back in October. This isn't even a new story. But I'm not going to play the video because I don't want any copyright problems. But here's another one from CNN, too. It's a legitimate story, so please look it up. The story is they were going from Bali to LAX. They had to make an emergency landing in Alaska because a woman gave birth on a plane, which is kind of a cool story anyway. But there's there's a problem with this. Uh, this just says they landed in Alaska, but you can do a little uh, searching to find out that they landed in Anchorage, Alaska. So if you look at that on a map, Anchorage, Alaska is up here off the coast of the tail of Alaska, I guess. It's where the water meets the land right here. That's where Anchorage is. The problem I have with this story is that if we live on a globe flying from Bali to LAX and having to make an emergency landing way up here in Alaska doesn't make any sense. Does it make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. This scale down here is a thousand miles. So at some point during this flight, supposedly, when she had the baby on the plane, they had to make an emergency landing, what, 2,500 miles off course? I mean, more than 2,000 miles off course, no matter where they were, to get up there. Does that make sense to you? If we live on a ball, this has to make sense to you. This goes deeper than that. Let's just say they weren't going to LAX. Let's say they were flying to Alaska. Well, when you book a flight from Bali to Anchorage, look at this. The 19-hour flight goes to almost a full day. But that's a shortcut. That's where they made their emergency landing. So they go from this. She has a baby at some point on this flight. They need to make an emergency landing. So... They zip up here. I wonder how fast they landed in Alaska. I wonder how long they were actually in the air. Because if this flight was 19 hours and they had to stop prematurely, I'm assuming they were in the air less than 19 hours. Wouldn't you assume that? Would you assume that they kicked up their flight, you know, four hours or so? Yeah, me neither. So in thinking about this, I looked at it in a different way. If you look at it on a flat earth map, and you're going from Valley to LAX here in Los Angeles, Anchorage, Alaska is on the way. So if somebody had a baby on the plane and they had to stop somewhere, this makes perfect sense. Again, if you're going from Valley to Los Angeles, and someone has a baby on the plane and you have to stop somewhere, wouldn't you think an emergency landing would look more like this? Than like this? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you don't live on a globe. And if you think you do, you should check into it. Satan is deceiving the whole world. And if you think you live on a globe, you are one that is being deceived. It's a lie. He's eliminating the need for God. He's giving you reason to believe in evolution. Evolution is fake. I'm not saying this map is perfect. How would we know? The people that can get up there and look and see are lying to us. But I'm saying this makes a lot more sense than this.